Hey guys, what's up? I'm Samuel, and in my last video I gave a little bit of context as to what this whole vlog is going to be about. If you missed it, check out the link. I'll toss it up right over here. It could be over here. Somewhere in this realm. I don't know where it's going to be. But if you don't want to go down that rabbit hole, I don't blame you. Here's the cliff notes. I just started working at Grow Financial Federal Credit Union. The financial industry is not my forte whatsoever yet and I'm learning a boatload about this place. So what am I supposed to do? Keep it all myself? That's not fair to you guys. I'm not a monster. So here we are. I thought today I could share with you guys a question that I had literally on the first day I started working here. What's the difference between a bank and a credit union? I mean, they have different names, and so I started piecing together that they are, there had to be something to that, because you don't call a chicken a duck. I mean, they're different birds, and so they have different names. And so credit unions have a different name than a bank's because they're different. And that logic checks out 100%, because it turns out they really are very different. So here's my takeaways, these little nuggets that you can you can drop at dinner with your family or your friends and just knock their socks off. Okay, probably won't knock their socks off, but it might be a fun fact. All right, number one, banks are for profit, credit unions are not for profit. And that in and of itself sounds very confusing. I know for me that it was kind of like that legal lingo. Ooh, legal lingo. Legal lingo that you hear people talk about and you just instantly fall asleep. But that really is the fundamental difference between the two. Should we go back to the chicken and duck metaphor? No. Okay. All right, so number two, banks are owned by stockholders and credit unions are owned by members. And so this actually puts banks in a little bit of a tough spot because they're, they're torn between optimizing customer experience on one hand and delivering on their financial obligation to the stockholder. And the credit union model is actually a much more simplified version because the member is also the owner. So everything is really focused on serving their needs. And so because credit unions are not-for-profit and owned by members, that means more often than not, the focus is on supporting or growing from the a local community. So that may seem like some pretty basic stuff, but I thought we should start at the beginning. Maybe you've got a better grip on uh, really what the differences are between a bank and a credit union. Anyway, subscribe if you want to keep joining me on this journey. Like if you are so inclined. Comment below questions, topics, comments, whatever. I don't care. I'll read it all. And I'll see you lovely people next time. Keep it real. Boom.